Okay everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have a brand new mod for you. It's the English Civil War mod for Medieval 2. It says right there, uh, for king or country. I would most definitely be going for country. Um, now there is only two factions currently in the mod. Uh, this is version 2. So, if I'm going for a country, guess who we're going to be playing as? is not going to be the Royalists. Now, um, I haven't actually played this mod before, so I know nothing about it, except for it involves English people. And I think there may be an Irish or Scottish regiment or two. Um, we'll just go for 30 regions, short campaign. All right, um, whole 30 regions, including Cornwall, Oxfordshire, Yorkshire and Portsmouth. That's Cornwall down there. Portsmouth is somewhere around there, I think. I think it is. Which one's Plymouth and which one's Portsmouth? Because both of those are port cities on the south coast. Oxfordshire is somewhere up there and Yorkshire is up there. Um, so, looks like the Royalists hold the southwest and around the Isle of Wight and a lot of Wales and the north and northwest. Right, uh, there's a whole bunch to read there, but uh, I'm going to leave a link to the mod and you can download it and read it yourself. So that would be a whole lot easier. Right, I don't know if there are any scripts in mod and I don't know if there are any scripted garrisons or not um, we'll go with hard hard we will of course play as the uh, royalist at some point just not today all right I don't think there's anything else we need to do here is there right now this is one of those medieval two mods that have been around actually a very long time and uh, basically got overlooked by a lot of people. Um, it is the year 1642. Yes, that's the year that the English Civil War started. And the month is January. Following the disastrous events of the Bishop's War, King Charles has been left looking weak and feeble. Ah, and we now do have King Charles on the throne once again. The rebellion in Ireland, the blasted Irish, uh, I don't get too many viewers from Ireland, so I can say that. Uh, swells on a daily basis and thousands of Protestants have been killed. Ooh. It's putting pressure on the king to react. Um, king Charles is in dire need of funds and has recalled the Parliament after nearly 12 years of his personal rule. Parliament is putting him under fire on a daily basis. Uh, they're not executing him, although they will later with the Grand Remonstrance being a huge blow to the royals. Popular support for Parliament forces the King to leave London for fear of his own safety. Alright. Now, I don't actually think we start at war. Um, nope, we don't actually start at war with the uh, royalists. I'm going to turn that music down because I have no idea whether it's copyrighted or not. And it's quite loud. Uh, if I got a copyright claim for this one, we'll know, won't we? Right. <clears throat> so we got 10k. And we're going to be losing a little money. Don't know if we have any agents. Um, or if they're available. The spies are available. Here's our units. It's going to be pikemen. And it's going to be musketeers. A good amount of artillery. And it's going to be... Um, like handgun units and there might be a few melee cavalry units but they were kind of switching over to pistols and muskets um, flint locks and fire locks back then uh, there's our captain London boo bunch of traders there right now right Philip Skippen right there's the uh, Earl of Essex, isn't he my faction leader? Who's my faction leader? Nope. 
Who is my faction leader? It is the Earl of Essex. Greatest general is this chap. Right, I'm going to put that down to about there. Let's go and see if we... Well, we don't have a family tree. We don't have any agents. Public order isn't great in every place. We need to fix that up. Oh, that's uh, right outside my home. Very nice city. Or at least it used to be. Right, we need to get them out of the blue and into at least yellow. Right. Bump these ones up um, wherever we can. We may be losing some money to begin with till we can get something built up. And again, I don't know how stable the mod is, so I'm hoping that we can get through a campaign. I guess this will be a good test for everyone. Um, right. So there's no garrison in that settlement. It doesn't even have any military buildings. Parliamentarian troopers, trained band musketeers and pikemen. Yes, they were spelling things rather oddly back then. Right. I uh, don't think we even have any ships. See, this is royalist territory and royalist over here. Right. So I guess we go to war as quickly as possible. That's one option, isn't it? Um, let's see if we zoom in. Right. So there is royalist. That's the royalist capital at Oxford, and we do need Oxfordshire. Right. So you need a couple of extra units. You've got a lot of artillery. Tower Hamlets, um, that's actually a part of London. Uh, it's going to be slow movement, isn't it? Right. Regiment of Dragoons, Tower Hamlets. That gets some semi happy. Right. I'm going to send you over here to join up. Now this settlement does not have a garrison, or not much of a garrison. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug or not. Right. No. We come over here and challenge our forces ASAP. Because if we can get you down here to help out, we can take out Farnham Castle, Winchester, and Portsmouth, there's Portsmouth. And I don't know if there's anything over here on the Isle of Wight. Now, uh, there's only one settlement apparently out here, but that's going to take a very long time to get to. If we were to take him all the way down here, look how long it would take him. Even getting him over to this bridge would take him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten turns. And we're paying for those troops all the way. Now, the same thing goes for the Royalists. If they come up from this area and try to strike us, it's going to take them a long time. So, even coming across here is going to take us a while, isn't it? But we might need these units. Yes. So we'll send him over in that direction. Here's the Earl of Stamford. Right. We shall continue tomorrow, my liege. Um, looks like we're going to need to bring you king. down here. Yes, my liege. Right. Now, there shouldn't be any royalists out here. So we're going to take Honor. you Hail and you king. and head over there. How's it looking up north? Right, we've got Lieutenant General Thomas Fairfax, well known uh, general in the English Civil War. Got some extra units there. 
Uh, he's very disloyal. John Hartham. Right, we don't want that mortar sitting in there. How much do you cost? 150, 125. All right. I say we send those ones out. Right. We can actually send possibly all of them. Yeah. Yes. See, that movement takes forever. So that would give us seven extra units, which would give you a full stack. Yeah, road network is not good. Not good at all. Um, right, so you will deal with them and any settlements are out here. You two need to join up and go after York. Because we need that for victory conditions. You will come up and either go into Wales or you move up along the border here, I think. Um, right. What are my most profitable settlements? Well, London for one. I'm going to put in some roads while we can afford them. You need a road? No. Um, got a lot of interesting buildings in here. Glass maker, doctor surgery, lime kiln, powder magazine, coffee house. Ooh, yes. Training field, office of horse, office of dragoons, bakery, printing press. That's from the original Med 2, so that one. Office of Conscription. Hmm. Coffee House. Let's get some growth going. Apparently we can't build that many roads. Regimental Office of the Lifeguard of Horse. Probably get some elite units out of that. Let's build at least one coffee house. That's going to take up pretty much all of our money, isn't it? Yeah. Anything cheap. If we go to this one, we can get a road. You can't get anything. You can't get anything. Neither can you, or neither. We're already on low tax. £540, 510 That should get them under control, I guess. Alright, so we're going to be losing money. Look at that. <laughs> A fair bit of corruption. We'll see how things shake out once we get to war with them. Lord Byron. Mm, that's definitely not the um, famous author, is it? Poet? No, he'd be much later on in history. Right. Uh, very fast in turn. We're going to accept him. Right. Arrests in Parliament. It is the year 1642 and the month is February. In response to the Irish uprising, Sir Arthur Hasselrig introduced a bill to the Parliament that would take away the King's command of the army. The King replied by attempting to arrest five members of Parliament. Yay! John Pym, John Hampton, Denzel Hollis, Sir Arthur Hasselrig and William Strode were all targeted for arrest. Warned of the King's approach by the Earl of Essex, the five members had already escaped and gone into hiding in London. Speaker of the House, William Lenthal, refused to give them up. Ah, wouldn't trust the current Speaker uh, to do that. I have neither eyes to see nor tongue to speak in this place, but as this House is pleased to direct me, Parliament continues to gain support in London. <laughs> right, keep on heading down. I wonder if it's quicker if he comes up here when you just 
head up in this direction. Very slow going. Right, they've actually moved away and left Farnham Castle exposed. So we might as well go and have a battle. It's going to be a small battle. Let's see if there's a garrison. Nope. The government of Farnham, the Honourable. Right. All this trained band of musketeers. Right, that has left that one, Sir Marmaduke Rawdon, free to go and do whatever he wants. Ah, it's been a long time since England has seen honour and glory. Alright. Now, there is a, an American Civil War mod out for Empire Total War. I don't think there's one available. Um, specifically for Med 2. It is, however, included in the um, Steam and Steel mod. Which is a new mod out. Or fairly new. And there are Confederates and Orbalists in that. Now this is a castle, so it's going to take some work to get it down, possibly. Um, but maybe not. Maybe not. A lot of cavalry in this army. Not much in the way of infantry, though. Alright, you must have dragoons as well. well. At least he started on skirmish mode. Let's take you off fire at will. And we'll put you on fire at will. Alright, we could try moving you up. Why are we not uh, I swear we should have been on battle time limit. Wasn't that selected? Nah, I'll fix that up. Oh, I suppose we could play like that. Um, okay, good. They have breached their walls. You go on far at will. You keep moving up then. So this is only a tier one castle, isn't it? All right. <clears throat> now I bet if we get these up on the walls, now we have to fire at them, won't they? Does that sound like an early version of Yankee Doodle Dandy? I swear it does. I'm fairly certain it's supposed to be on battle time limit. Something got hit. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to get knocked down. If anyone actually recognises the music in this, let me know. Any of the songs? Alright, I'm going to turn that off because I think maybe some friendly fire is going to go on. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. Have they now? The enemy's walls belong to us now. That's a good place to view it from. So yeah, it's one of the annoying things about the original Medieval 2 that you couldn't deploy units up here. You got all these settlements. You couldn't deploy them. Are you getting any hits on them? Now oh, we destroyed that building. Our men are winning the battle. If we 
continue like this, we will smash them. Our pikemen are killing them off quite easily. Let's go and flash that, because I know some people will ask to see it. It's a cool little flag, isn't it? Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Yeah. Go on, poke him. I think he's only lost one man. We're decimating them. You in position? No. Moving rather slowly. I mean, they look pretty cool up there, don't they? Mm. Come on, get up here. We could get any hits on them. We'd be doing all right. You know, I swear he's lost one guy. Killed off forty percent. I guess when we do the uh, Royalist campaign, maybe we go very hard, very hard. Why are you not backing them up? Alright. We could just form up right here, couldn't we? And let our units go and shoot them. You're having a really hard time getting up there. Can you hit them? Not from there, can you? What if you come along here? Alright, you're firing. Did you get in? Alright. Come up behind them. Yeah, they got very short range on them. Alright, those are really having trouble. There they go, getting up. You cannot reach them. I'm going to have to bring you down. Ooh, somebody's finally taking a shot at you. risk sending him in. So you're bracing, are you? <clears throat> Now they're marching. They seem to be moving very slowly though. Alright, you're close enough. Getting many hits on them. There's one of them. And they rode it. Most unexpected. Well, they rallied. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. 
Hmm. I'm going to keep rallying. Why are you not firing? There you go. Off and on, off and on. Well, you're in a position where you can shoot them. I do like the music. Come on, lads. Stop headbutting the uh, wall there. By St. George, our men have taken control of the castle. Right, go and fire. I don't know what you're doing out there all by yourself. That's probably my faction leader, isn't it? Our men no longer command the castle. Not getting many kills from the musketeers, are we? Right. Now they're being smarter. Right, let's turn you off. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue yeah. like this, but our musketeers are dying just as quickly as theirs did. Get them with your long pointy sticks. My lord, my lord, we've lost control of the castle. Nah, yeah, we'll be fine. Those ones are still holding out. And they do kneel down to fire. Oh, you managed to get yourself shot or stabbed. How many are left? Well, at least we don't have to hold it for a ridiculous amount of time, like 20 minutes, like some mods have been doing lately. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Right. Farnham Castle is ours. Glorious victory is ours, sire. As you commanded, sire. Right. Well, they look quite happy. Yours. We're not going to get much from doing this, are we? Right. Hail, my Keep king. on moving. Hail, my king. As you command, my... hail, my king. As you command, my lead. Hail, my king. By your will, sire, we shall engage. By your will be done. Alright, chivalry. Dread. Royalist, so so. War. Mm, we've got some dirt roads, but we are in debt. And we do get one unit. Are we going to get out of debt? No. I wonder how much that artillery is costing us. 250. We'd have to get rid of a lot of artillery. <laughs> Six pieces of it. What about the... Uh, Mortars, 250 as well, 180 for the troopers, iron sights, more expensive, lifeguard of horse, 250, Hasselrig's regiment of horse, 350, wow, they look like they're armoured though. 
No, I can't change anything. Can't fix anyone up. Head on up there. Right, that's going to be the end of episode one of the English Civil War mod. 